This tutorial is a basic demonstration on how to perform total protein normalization using ImageLab software. The first step is to acquire the images. When acquiring the images, it is important that you acquire the stain-free blot image before adding any chemiluminescent substrate to the blot. Once the images are acquired, we need to select the normalization channel. This is done by selecting lane and bands in Analysis Toolbox. Then, under the Normalization Channel drop-down, select Add Channel. This brings up a window with the images available on the left side and the channels available on the right. The Chemi image has already been selected as our sample data, and we will drag our total protein stain-free blot to the Normalization Channel. Then click OK. Next, a window will automatically open up for band detection on our Chemi blot. For this example, our band of interest has a strong signal, so we will select low detection sensitivity and click OK. ImageLab has automatically created all the lanes for both our total protein and chemi images and has detected our band of interest on the chemi image. If ImageLab was not able to automatically detect the lanes and bands on your blots, you can manually adjust the lanes. For more information on manually adjusting lanes, please see our Advanced Total Protein Normalization Tutorial. We will now select the normalization lane. The normalization lane can be any of the total protein lanes. In our case, we will select lane 2. The last step is to verify the correct amount of background that's being subtracted. This increases the accuracy of the normalization. We will do this by selecting the total protein blot and then clicking Adjust Background on the toolbar. In most cases, ImageLab's default background subtraction will be correct, but if more or less background needs to be subtracted, this can be done with the subtraction scroll bar. If you do change the default background settings, make sure to apply them to all lanes. Scan through each lane and make sure the gray section underneath the red line is similar for each lane. Now that we are done verifying the background subtraction is correct, we will close the lane profiler by clicking the X. Our total protein normalization is now complete. We can review the results by clicking the Analysis Table button at the top of the screen. This will bring up information about each lane including band number, volume intensity before normalization, normalization factor, and volume after normalization. Because lane 1 was our standard lane, there is no data for that lane. As we scroll down to lane 2, we see it has a normalization factor of 1 because we selected it as our normalization lane. We can export the data to Excel by clicking on the Export to Excel Analysis button.